I need you to hit the red button. What are you doing? Child, I don't understand. I don't understand why you don't just hit the damn red button and tell me my stuff. You. What is your problem? Like, honestly. Like, there's a prompt right there. All you have to do is hit the red button. That's all you have to do. Why are you fighting? I don't have to hit the red button. I do not have to hit the red button. I have to give you money for what you're... What is your problem with me? Why? Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me? Because it doesn't make sense for you to fight me. It doesn't make sense for you to fight me. I'm a customer. Hey, it's not that hard, man. Like, you... But we keep, you mind your own business. Oh, my fault. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get you going. calling district headquarters as soon as I get home. Okay. Exactly, you know he's serious when he, when he puts on the hat. So to be clear, uh, that was a guy at something like a CVS who, who, you know, sometimes when you're going to check out, it'll say, do you want to give a dollar towards whatever? It, like Petco, they ask you to put it towards something with animals. And uh, you can say yes, or you can hit the red button and say no. And he was so infuriated by the fact that it had dared to ask him for a donation that not only did he not donate, which is of course anyone's right, and we'll talk about this, he refused to hit the red button. He felt it was unfair, an infringement of his rights to make him say no to charity. And he kept insisting that the clerk press the red button for him and swore that he would talk to district headquarters over it unless the guy hit the red button for him. What do you think, Francesca? Okay, obviously, Mr. Paddington Bear, whatever he was going for with the hat, like he was, he was having a day and like plenty of time on his hands. Because anyone who's like making that a thing is like, oh, buddy, you are retired and or are personally yeah. wealthy. You have nowhere to be. This poor worker, the guy behind him trying to help. That's so funny. But I will say, I do not like either that a giant corporation is making me say no. To uh -huh. donating or <sighs> helping, although we don't know if I'm actually helping with the money. Like every time I just want to buy something, it's a little bit of the way that, like, you know, you know, an airline will be like, hey, if you want to donate your seat or your miles to like a kid in need or someone who wants to fly, it's like, honey, why don't you donate the seat to a kid in need? Last I checked, you ran this whole entire operation. Those <laughs> seats are yours. Like you could Literally. just give it to them. Exactly, and also, I'm gonna guess you have more money, dear corporation, than I do. Yeah. Uh, okay, may maybe you have a point. By the way, there was a debate in the comments of, that's uh, Gynius on Twitter who, who filmed that interaction. Tried to get involved and avoided, it started to get tense a little bit between them. But uh, CM says uh, it's because boomers think service, works li service workers literally live to serve them. They get off on the power, the Sunday boomer crowd is every server's nightmare. That ass says, imagine how many buttons he had to press to call district headquarters, which is not a bad point. Caitlin Graves says, people who never worked in customer service are so obvious. Like, does he think that a CVS employee has the power to change that? They don't yeah. program the things. But some people do agree with Francesca. The Franck says, I think I get his argument. Big companies use our guilt to get these donations and they get a cut of the money. He's rejecting this. One said he's not obligated to donate anything. That guy shouldn't be pressuring him. He doesn't want to feel bad for denying giving to the needy when in reality, he'd be giving to a corporate tax cut. I think those are all very good points. At the same time, I have never been driven into a rage over the <laughs> donation button. I guess maybe I'm just easy go lucky. You can say no, I've never been publicly shamed if I press the red button or anything like that. You kind of just move on with your life. Yeah, it's almost like that dude like doesn't ever give to charity or like never gives to a homeless know. person. We don't know. We don't but no. to be so offended by saying no, I don't know. Like that, it, obviously, mm -hmm. that that worker did not deserve that. Um, no. But like, it's something that you shrug off. You're like, Meh, meh. and the worker could have been like, yeah, it's a little silly, isn't it? And then we could have all moved on our on our way. But I I need to know more. I only imagine that if a camera were put in this guy's face, um, he would go on a very long rant about I don't know. Oh, no. Al alkalized water and like wearing weird toe <laughs> shoes and like why I don't know why we shouldn't you pasteurize anything and you know how he uh -huh. grows his okay, own like mushrooms and you're like oh my god can I have some and he's like not like that and you're like what do you mean what Can how you much donate though? one mushroom 
Yeah, you, like there's a lot going on with this gentleman. Yeah. yeah, well, look, we don't know for sure. And here's the thing, I like it is clear from the comments and from our discussion that there there is a debate to be had about the practice. He is not wrong to have an issue with it maybe, but you do have to decide how you express that and who you loop into it. The guy working at a cash register in a, in a grocery store or a CVS or whatever it is, it's not his policy. Like you have no idea if he supports it, so don't make it about him. If you want to call district headquarters, you waste 45 minutes. You can do that or shop elsewhere. Don't give them your money, but it ain't about the service industry workers. That's who we want to protect. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.